welcome to my channel. I am a budget mama based in the UK and my little family of three is working to a cash budget to help us keep in control of our finances. With prices going up, we got to the point where we only had about a £10 buffer in our account at the end of the month, which obviously is not ideal and if we had any unexpected outgoings, we would have ended up back in debt which is where we were about four years ago, something like that. And we worked really hard to get ourselves out of debt. We are now debt free apart from our mortgage and we want to keep it that way. So today's video is going to be our savings and sinking funds. This is where we put a little bit of money, where we save it, build it up so that we can pay for those items that are a little bit more expensive or pay for any kind of unexpected expenses that might come up in the near future. We do have long-term savings as well, which goes into our savings account. This is our short-term kind of savings, uh, and this will pay for anything within the next few weeks or few months um, that maybe we haven't budgeted for because we've either not thought of it before time or it's a little treat for us. So first things first, let's see what is left. I don't, honestly don't think we've touched a lot of this. Um, we've not touched the fun money. Uh, so I think there's 40 in here. So 10, 20, 30, 35, 40. So there's 40 in there. Uh, gifts. We've touched a little bit. Um, I have previously said that we wouldn't touch this until my husband's birthday. He would be the next person that we bought presents for. Uh, but that is because I'm a terrible, terrible wife and completely forgot about our anniversary, which is today. Happy anniversary, me. Um, <laughs> but it's fine because my husband also entirely forgot. It was actually my mother who asked, what are we doing today? And I responded with, I don't know, is it a special day? To which she responded with, yes, it's your anniversary. Oh dear, yeah. So at least me and my husband are as shit as each other. And we both forgot. It would have been more embarrassing if one of us forgot. So gifts, we've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 87 and doopy. I'll take the change out, put the coin, uh, put the notes back in, and that can build up. So I have been a little bit naughty. Um, I have previously said that my husband's gift was going to come out of our gifts fund. Now the problem with that is that my husband, hi husband, is very supportive and he watches my videos, which most of the time is great. I'm happy him watching my videos, to be honest. It shows that he's being supportive. However, I can't exactly go through on camera what I'm spending on his birthday present. So what I'm gonna do, close your ears, husband, don't listen to this bit, is I'm going to pay for his gift out of our savings account because he can't see that account. That's linked to my bank account. And then I can rejig the gift fund after the fact and hope he doesn't notice exactly how much I spent. I don't know. I'm trying to keep some mystery and it's very hard because he's so darn supportive and watches. Anyway, on to savings. So, <laughs> oh goodness. So we've not, the last few videos, I've all had nothing left in savings because I dip into this to buy stuff that I don't need and um, probably shouldn't be buying. But this week I have had some self-control and we still have £25 left in our savings, which is super duper. Boat funds we still haven't touched because we are still saving for the next part that we need to fix the engine. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 140. We are close. Um, I think it was about 200, maybe 210 for the starter motor that we need. <sighs> so 
we're getting there, but I honestly think that we're basically going to have a working engine just at the end of the sailing season, so that's a bit disappointing. I don't know why I've put that back in there. There we go. So that's what's left of last week. Um, feeling pretty good about that because I feel like we've barely touched it, uh, to be honest. Um, first thing I'm going to do, because I'm very excited about it, is pay into the holiday. Um, so we have been saving up for our holiday. We're going to the Lake District in September. And we've been saving up for 10 whole weeks. I think it's closer to 11 or 12. Because uh, we had a couple of short weeks where we weren't able to pay in. Um, so I've got nine envelopes filled with £50 in each. So that's 450 and there's literally the last envelope left to fill today. Which is super, I'm very excited. Um... So we've got 20, 40, 50. So there's the last envelope to fill today. So that's 50 pounds going into our last envelope. And that is it. That is our holiday paid for, which is super. I'm very, very happy. Um, it's, I've got to say, when I first started and I had 10 empty envelopes, I was concerned, I wasn't sure that I had the willpower to keep up with it. Um, but now that it's done, it's I'm feeling really proud of myself. I don't have much willpower when it comes to sticking with the routine and stuff, so I'm pretty proud that I stuck at it and we've paid for our holiday about a month and a half before we're going, which is super. Um, so we have... 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds left to go into four sinking funds. So fund money, I'm going to put 10 into. I'm going to cap this at 50 pounds. Um, so we've got 10, 20, 30, 35, 40. So I'm going to cap the fund money at 50 pounds. Um, we are doing a day trip tomorrow. Um, so if we spend any of this I will put money in next week obviously back up to 50 um but if we don't touch it then there will be 10 pounds that can go somewhere else instead of into fun um gifts always gets 10 pounds um and that just don't know why that went back in there um yeah gifts just gets 10 pounds um and that just builds up over the year for things like birthdays and anniversaries that we forget about <laughs> savings so i've got 30 left and i've got savings in the boat fund i am going to be a little bit naughty i'm only going to put 10 into savings because the because i've not touched it this week so there's still a good amount of money in there and then I am going to put 20 into the boat fund for the first time in, I think, nearly two months. I am putting the full amount into the boat fund just to try and build it up to get that star motor, motor paid for. So that is everything. That is all of my savings and sinking funds uh, paid into. Uh, that is my holiday fund paid into. I also put, off camera, I put um, two pounds and two pence, which came out of what was left of last week. Put that into Toothless. Um, I, oh God, God he's heavy. I apologise for not showing you that, but my camera ran out of storage um, about 10 minutes into this video. So I've had to re-record a chunk of it and I wasn't going to go fishing uh, one pound, uh, two pounds and two pence out of Toothless to re-put it in, I'm sorry. Um, so that's saving, for, saving challenge done, holiday paid for, <laughs> very excited, and savings and sinking funds paid into for this week. So that's everything to show you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate every single one of you for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. It just, it boggles my mind that there are people willing to 
spend time watching me talk about savings and stuff uh but i do really appreciate it thank you so much um i hope to see you next time uh take care and happy budgeting